Hey guys, time for my first Halloween look of the year. So this is Mother Cranes from the new Insidious Chapter 2 movie. That movie was beyond amazing. I'm such a big horror movie fan, so I had to do this look. So to get started, we're going to start with foundation. And first we're going to take the lightest foundation you have and mix it with some white cream makeup. And I'm just going to put that all over my face with a foundation brush and then blend it down my neck and blend it all out with the big sponge. I chose the lightest foundation with cream makeup because she's not completely ghost white like clown white but she is very fair so I wanted to keep it super fair. And then we're gonna do our eyebrows. This lady had pretty damn good eyebrows. Like for a dead lady I'm pretty jealous of her. <laughs> so we're gonna first take a pencil and outline to make it really really defined and then we're gonna fill in the rest with a dark shade because she had she was a brunette so she had really dark eyebrows but I couldn't dye my hair for this video. But anyway just fill in your brows really precisely. She had great brows. And then I'm taking some extra cream makeup that I mixed and with a concealer brush outlining the brows to define them further because I'm telling you they were on point. And then I'm going to take a translucent powder and set my whole face using a little extra than normal because you want to make yourself as white as possible and as matte as possible because I don't think ghosts get shiny. <laughs> so I'm basically just going to pat powder all over my skin and a lot of it because you want to make yourself as white as possible just not completely white like with only like clown makeup and now we're gonna contour I'm gonna be using this gray eyeshadow from the meat matte nude palette but you could also use like NYX taupe blush or any other like gray really cool tone blush because you really want to look dead so you're not gonna contour with anything warm toned you want to make yourself look really like sickly and like washed out so I'm gonna take that into the hollows of my cheek and do a pretty like deep contour because if you're dead your face is definitely sunken in and then to define it further I went in with a like a foundation brush and made like a really straight line in the contour and then I went along my jawline and then contoured my temples too because she was pretty contoured in the movie And then I'm going to take this black eyeliner, doesn't matter which black eyeliner, just take black eyeliner along your lid just to make a dark base so that your eyeshadow can be like super dark and vampy because that's the way you want it to look for this look. So just line the lid, don't line like the entire eye, just basically the eyelid. And then you're going to take a concealer brush or an eyeshadow brush and blend that out so just so it's not like all sitting in one spot. And then you're going to pack on a black eyeshadow on top of it. All the eyeshadows I'm using in this look are from one of those like 88 color palettes. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Coastal Scents, you can get them on BH Cosmetics, whatever. You just need a whole lot of eyeshadows. <laughs> and then after that I'm going to take this crease brush with a dark red color. And I'm basically just going to place that into the crease. It looks crazy right now, but don't worry, we're going to blend it all out and it's going to look fine. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to wipe off that brush a little and then blend a lot. And it's going to kind of make like a deep purple color, which I loved. And then I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just blend out the edges because it wasn't looking too nice. And after that, I'm going to take some of that translucent powder that we use on our face and blend out the edges just to feather them out a lot and make it look really blown out and smoky. You don't want this look to have any harsh edges. You want it to look really uh, smoky and stuff. So then after that I'm gonna take a cream shade and highlight the brow bone. Well it's not even a cream shade it's like a basically white shade and then I'm gonna blend that all out go back in with my red red eyeshadow brush the one we use for the red eyeshadow and blend it out a little and then another clean blending brush just to blend everything. Now I'm going to take that red eyeshadow on a flat liner brush and I'm going to put that right along the lower lash line. We're going to do that on both sides of the eyes and don't worry if it's too thick because we're going to go pretty far down on the lower lash line for this look. Then I'm going to take a deep brown eyeshadow on a smudger brush and smudge it all into that red. And don't, once again, don't worry about taking it too far down because that's what this look is all about. It's about looking really dead and dead people have really bad under eye darkness. <laughs> so just blend that out as much as you can. And then I'm going back with a fluffy brush and blending out those edges to smoke them out a little more.
And after that I went in back with that red eyeshadow and that flat definer brush just to make the red a little more apparent than it was after all of the blending. And I'm going back with that fluffy brush and just blending everything again. Seriously, this look is all just, just about blending and making it as, not messy, but as blown out as possible. Now I'm just going to put on a few coats of mascara and curl my lashes. And now it's time for lips. We're going to be using this NYX Lip Liner in Cabaret. And then I showed you two lipsticks, but I'm only using the Revlon one, which I think is called Blackberry or Black Cherry or something like that. And you want to really define these lips. You want to take your time with this lip liner and make sure you don't make any mistakes because she had flawless lips. And you want to make your cupid's bow really deep because she had pretty pouty lips. And then to make them, to make it easier to apply this lipstick, I'm going to be using it with a lip brush because that just makes the process just a lot easier to keep it precise and in the lines and all that. So, and you could always go back with like a, a darker like a black eyeshadow around the edges but I just thought that was kind of unnecessary at the moment but if you wanted a little darker around the edges, you could do that then I'm taking some of that cream makeup that's left over on that same con concealer brush we used before and I'm just gonna outline the lips and then I'm gonna blend that out with the sponge that we use to put our makeup on and then we're gonna make that beauty mark she had with just a really pointy black eyeliner and after that this is optional I hated it but at one point in the movie she had blood in her teeth which kind of didn't really make sense because where the heck did it come from <laughs> but she had blood in her teeth so you could put blood in your teeth if you'd like but it's not really gonna stay there and it tastes really disgusting so yep that's it for this look I hope you guys liked it make sure to go see Insidious Chapter 2 because it is amazing it was honestly like better than the first one but love you guys so much. Can't wait to do more Halloween tutorials for you. Comment on this video, thumbs it up, and I will see you later. Bye!